Today we shall look at standard form. Now, when do we say a number is in standard form? A number A is said to be in standard form if it can be written in a form that is A times 10 to the power N, where the N is an integer and the A is greater or equal to 1 and less than 10, then we see this has been written in standard form. Remember the A can be 1, but it shouldn't be equal to or it shouldn't be equal to or greater than 10. It should be less than 10. Now let's note the following. Now the first note is that for a whole number, the decimal point is at the last end. An example is if you have one with this, the decimal number is at the last end. And then the second one that we're also supposed to notice is that when we move the decimal point leftward, the power becomes positive. If you move the decimal point leftward, the power becomes positive. And if you move it rightward, the power becomes negative. Let's see an example of this. Write the following standard form. The first one says, 7,400. So we have the first one, 7,400. Zero, zero. Now we know that to write it in standard form, it should be of the form a times 10 to the power n, where the n is an integer, and then the a should be greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. Now this is greater than 10. So we have to move the point so this side, let's see how many, how, many are we, how many steps are we moving? One, two, three. So this will be 7.4 times 10 to the power three. Now why is it positive? Because we moved leftward, the power on top of the 10 is positive. Now let's see the second one. A one, nine, six, six, five, zero. Now, Clearly, the whole, this is a whole number, and this is greater than 10, so you have to let it be between, that is 1, can be equal to 1, but it should be less than 10. So let's see, let's move, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have 1.9665 times 10 to the power 5. Why 5? How many times did we move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 1 point, and this 1 point, this is greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. Now let's see the third one. We have 73 times 89. And 73 times 89 will give us 6497. We want to write this in standard form. Now, so the, this is a whole number. So the point is at the last end. Let's move 1, 2, 3. So we have 6.4. 9, 7 times 10 to the power 3, positive 3, why we moved left word. Let's also look at example 2. Example 2, express the following standard form. The first one, 0 0.0059613. Now, the point is here, but this, we know that this one, if it is in standard form, then it should be a times 10 to the power n, where the a is greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. Now this is clearly out of this range. You have to put it in this range. So it's better for us to put the point here. So let's move. 1, 2, 3. So this is 5.9613 times 10 to the power negative 3. Why negative 3? Because we moved right forward. Let's see the second one. 0 0.00083 now let's see how many times I'm moving. This is one, two, three, four. So eight point three four times ten to the power negative four. Let's see how many times you move. One, two, three, four. So that's what you have. It is power negative four. Now let's see the third one. We have zero point zero 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 one six three. Now how many times I'm moving? This is one, two, three, four, five. So 
times 10 to the power negative 5. And clearly this is in this range. This one too is in this range. Now let's note this indices rules. We know from it if you have a to the power m times a to the power n, this is a m plus n. And also, if you have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, this is a m minus n. We know about all this. And then also, if you have a b all to the power n, this is a n b. And then we also know that if you have a to the power m all to the power n, this is a m n. Now, we would be using this rules a lot, so kindly pay attention to them. We want to express the following in standard form. The first one, 0 0.000316 times 10 to the power negative 7. So we have 0 0.000316 times 10 negative 7. Now, let's see, so the point is here, now let's put this in standard form. So let's see, let's move, how is I moving? This is one, two, three, four. So this will be 3.16 times 10 negative four, times 10 negative seven. Now this is in standard form, but in this, and the base are the same, so we can add the exponent. So we have 3.16, times 10 negative 4 minus 7. It's going to be plus negative 7, but then negative will cancel the positive. So you have this. And this is the same as 3.16 times 10 negative 11. Now let's see the second one. We have 0 0.3 times 10 to the power 2 times 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 3. We want to put this in standard form. So let's the first one, this is, you can say 3 times 10 negative 1. We move it just once. Then times 10 to the power 2. That's this one. Now let's change this one. This is times 5 times 10. Now this is negative 1 because we have moved once times 10 to the power 3. Now 3 times 5, so we have 3 times 5 times 10 to the power negative 1 times 10 to the power 2, times 10, negative 1, times 10 to the power 3. Now 3 times 5, which is 15. And then here we have 10, negative 1, plus 2, minus 1, plus 3. So we have 15 times 10. Now this and this and this, it will cancel, so we have 10 to the power 3. But then this one is not in standard form. You have to put it in the standard form. And this is a whole number. The decimal point is at the last end. So this has, we have to move once. So 1.5 times 10 to the power positive 1, because we moved leftward, times 10 to the power 3. And this is 1.5 times 10, 1 plus 3. This is 1.5 times 10, 1 plus 3, which is 4. Well, this example 4. Without using calculator or table, evaluate the following, leaving your answer in standard form. The first one, 4.8 times 10 to the power 17, all about 0 0.12 times 10 to the power 6. This is O level, June 1982, question 2B. So that's it. So first, let's write everything in whole numbers. So this is 4.8. So this will be 48 times 10 to the power negative 1, because we moved rightward times 10 to the power 17 all over. This is 12, so we are moving 1, 2, times 10 to the power negative 2, times 10 to the power 6. Now, 12 will go into itself 1, 12 will go into 48, this is 4 times. So what do you have? We have 4 times 10. Now we are multiple bases, we have to add all over 10, negative 2, plus 6. We are multiplying bases are the same, so we add the exponent. So you have 4 times 10, negative plus this, so that would be 16, all over 10 to the power 4. Base are the same, we are dividing, what do you do? We subtract. 4 times 10, we have 16 minus 4, so you have 4 times 10, this is 
12, 16 minus 4, 12. And this is in standard form. Now let's see the second one. We have 0 0.0024 times 0 0.64 all over 0 0.48. Now we have to change everything in whole numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 24 times 10 to the power negative 4 times 64 times 10 to the power negative 3 of 1, 2. All over 48 times 10. We are moving 1, 2 to the power negative 2. Clearly, what can we see? 10 to the power negative 2 will cancel 10 to the power negative 2. Now, 24 will go into itself 1. 24 will go into 48. This will be 2 times. Now, 2 going into itself 1. 2 going into 64. That is 32 times. So, in a nutshell, we have, we have 10 to the power negative 4 times 32. Now, this 32 is more than 10, but then this should be less than 10. So, we get 3.2 times 10. We have moved that is leftward, so the power will be positive times 10 to the power negative 4. You have 3.2 times 10, 1 minus 4. That is what we have for the second one. Now this May June 2014, question number 1A. So we have to write everything in whole number so that we can cancel out. So the first one, that would be 6 times 10 to the power negative 1. We have moved once. So times 32 times 4 times 10. Now how many times are we moving? 1, 2, 3. So that is negative 3 all over 12 times 10 to the power negative 1. 1 1.2, so it will move once. We have this. Times 8 times 10. Now let's see, we have 1, 2, 3. So we have negative 3 times, let's see, this is 16, so 0 0.16. So we have to change the whole number, which will be 16, 1, 2. So we have 16 times 10, negative 2. Now let's see, this is cancelling out that. This is cancelling out that. Now, 8 will go into itself 1. 8 will go into 32. That is 4 times. Now, 4 will go into 12. That is 3 times. 4 will go into 1. 4 will go into 16. That is 4 times. 3 will go into itself 1. 3 will go into 6. That's 2 times. 2 will go into itself 1. 2 will go into 4. That is 2 times. So in a nutshell, what do we have? We have 1 over 2 times 10 to the power negative 2. This is what we have. And this is the same as 1 over 2 times 10 to the power positive 2. Now, what is 1 over 2? It's the same as 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 2. This as a whole is not in standard form, so you have to put it in standard form. So that will be 5 times 10 to the power negative of y. We moved to the left, well, to the right one, which was only 1. Times 10 to the power 2. 5 times 10, we have negative 1 plus 2. 5 times 10 to the power 1. Okay, so first let's change all decimals to whole numbers. So here we have 48 times 10. How many times are we moving? 1, 2, 3, 4. Times 10 to the power negative 4. Times 81 times 10 to the power negative 2. All over, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 27 times 10 to the power negative 4. Because we move 4 times. It is move 3 times 1, 2, 3. That is 4 times 10 to the power negative 3. 27 will go into itself 1. 27 will go into 81. That is 3 times 4 will go into itself 1. 4 will go into 48. 
that is 12 times. Now, 10 to the power negative 4 will cancel this, 10 to the power negative 4 over here. So what do you have? We have 12 times 3 times 10 to the power negative 2 all over 10 to the power negative 3. Now, 12 times 3, this will give us 36 times 10 negative 2 all over 10 negative 3. Now, we are dividing, and because we are dividing, we have to subtract. So this would be 36 times 10 negative 2 minus minus 3. So we have 36 times 10 to give us negative 2 plus 3. And this is the same as 36 times 10 to the power 1. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Now we have 36, but then this is more than 10. So we have to let it be between 1 and 10. So this has to move once. So we have 3.6 times 10 to the power 1 times 10 to the power 1. Now we move leftward, so the power will be positive. Now this will be 3.6 times 10 to the power 2, because 1 plus 1. This will give us 2. Now let's save this. So first we have to change to whole numbers. So we have this. So we have, this will be, that is 2, 4, 5. Let's see how many times I'm 1, 2, 3, 4. Times 10 to the power 4. Now this is 1.2. So that will be 12. 1, 2, times 10 to the power. This we are moving to the left. So that is negative 1. All over, this is negative 4. Negative 4. All over 8 times 10 to the power negative 2. Move twice. 1, 2. And this one to twice. So times 1, 7, 5. Times 10 to the power negative 2. Now, let's see, what can we see over here? Now, 2, 4, 5, and then 1, 7, 5. Now, 35 can go into this, that is 7 times. 35 can go into this, that is 5 times. Now, let's see, 3 will go into, or 4 will go into 12, that is 3 times. 4 will go here, that is 2 times. So, in a nutshell, we have 7 times 3 times 10 negative 4 times 10 negative 1 all over 2 times 5 times 10 negative 2 times 10 negative 2. That's this and that. Now, 7 times 3, this is 21 times 10 negative 5. Why negative 5? Because negative 4 minus 1. This is giving us negative 5. 2 times 5, we have 10 times 10. This is negative 4. Why? This, we have this one and this one. This will give us this. Okay, now this is also to the power 1. So we have 21 times 10 negative 5 all over 10 negative 3. Why? 1 minus 4. That is negative 3. Now this will move up and then it's going to be positive. So you have 21 times 10, we have negative 5 plus 3. Now the negative will move up, which will be positive. So we have 21 times 10. This will give us negative 2. Now, now this is what we have, and this 21, which is more than 10. So it should be 2.1, it should be between 1 and 10. So we have to move leftward. So we have 2.1 times 10 to the power 1 times 10 negative 2. And clearly, this will be 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 1. 1 minus 2, that is what? Negative 1. And this is in standard form. Let's see this past question. So first, we have to make all, write all of them in um, whole numbers. So this is here, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 1, 2, 5 times 10 to the power negative 4 times 5, 7, 6 times 10. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 5 all over 15 times 10. That is negative 3, or no, negative 4. Because you're moving 1, 2, 3, 4. And this you're moving 1, 2. So times 32 times 10, negative 2. Claim what can we see? This and that is cancelling out. Now, 32 will go here, 32 will go into this, that is 18. 
five will go into 125 that is um five will go into the that's 25 and five will go here three three will go here one three will go here that is um six so we have 25 times 6 times 10 negative 5 all over we have 10 negative 2 now 25 times 6 this is 150 so we have 150 times 10 negative 5 but this will move up so that will be plus so we have 150 times 10 negative 3 now this is 150 and this is bigger than 10 so you have to write it in standard form so let's move that's one two so you have 1.5 times 10 because we move to the left that will be positive 2 times 10 negative 3 so you have 1.5 times 10 you have 2 minus 1 so that is negative 1 now let's consider the following password this is SSE 1999 says that 0 0.0042 times 10 to the power negative 8. Then we have times um, 15,000 all over. We have 5,000 times 10 to the power 7 times 0 0.0021 times 10 to the power 14. Now, this is what we have over here. So first, let's change all the decimal numbers to whole numbers. So the first one, that will be 42 times 10. Now, let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 times 10 negative 8. Now this already whole number, all over 5,000 whole number, times 10, 7 times this, 21 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 10 to the power negative 4 times 10 to the power 14. Now negative 4 cancel, negative 4. 21 will go into 1, 21 will go into 42. That is two times. Let's see, these three zeros will cancel that three zeros. Five will go into itself one. Five will go here. That is three. So you have two times three times ten negative eight all over ten to the power seven times ten fourteen. Now let's see. This will give us, let's see, we have ten negative eight. So that's what we have here. We have 10 to the power 7, and then we have 10 to the power negative 4. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now 2 times 3, this is giving us 6 times 10 negative 8. All over, we have 10 to the power 7 plus 14. 7 plus 14 will give us, that's 21. So here we have 6 times 10 negative 8 minus 21 now this is moving up so that is this so we have 6 times 10 negative 29 now let's also see the second one we have 4 to 3 zeros times 10 to the power 36 and then we have 5 thousand times 10 to the power negative 10 all over we have 0 0.007 times 10 21 and then we have 0 0.0006 times 10 negative 4 now with this let's change all decimal to whole numbers so we have 4200 zero, zero, 0 times 10, 36 times 5, zero, 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 times 10, negative 10, all over 7 times 10, negative 3, we move 3, times 10 to the power 21, times 6, times 10, we are moving 1, 2, 3, 4, so we have negative 4 times 10, negative 4. Now let's see. 7 will go into itself 1, 7 will go into 40, that is 6, and then you add the 3 zeros. Now, 6 will go into itself 1, 6 will go into the last 1, 0, 0, 0. 
Now, what do you have? We have that is thousand, and this thousand, we have okay thousand times ten to the power ten six times five thousand times ten to the power negative ten, all over ten negative three times ten twenty one times ten negative four times ten negative four. Now, let's change this into standard form. So you have one, two, three. So 1 times 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 36. Now that's 5,000. 5 times 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power, that is negative 10, all over 10 negative 3 times 10, 21 times 10, negative 4 times 10, negative 4. Now let's see. From here, 1 times 5, this is giving us 5. Now, when the bases are the same in your multiple, what do you do to the exponent? We add the exponent. So here, we are going to get 3 plus 36 plus 3 minus 10. So we have 10, 3 plus 36 minus 4, minus 4, 3 plus 36 plus 3, plus 3, minus 10, all over 10, negative 3, plus 21, minus 4, minus 4. Now, we have 3 plus, that's 39, 39 plus 3, and this will give us, that is um, 42, so you have 5 times 10, we have 42. Now 42 minus 10, that is 32, because this will give us 39, 42, 42 minus that, we have this. We have here to be 10, and this will give us negative 3 plus 21, this is 18. 18 minus that, and this will give us 18 minus 8. This will give us a positive 10. So we have 5 times 10, you have 32 minus 10. And you have 5 times 10, you have 32 minus 10. And this will give us, that is 20. This will give us 22. And this is in standard form. Now let's say this, that is 1. Without using calculator, uh, we find the value, which can the value of that is root x over where x is 8.1 times 10 to the power negative 2 and y is equal to 2.25 times 10 to the power 5. Now let's see that is we have root x over y. Now this is equal to we have root. What is the x? x is 8.1 times 10 negative 2. All over 2.25. We have 2.25 the y times 10 to the power 5. So first, let's change all these one numbers to whole numbers. So this will be root of, this will be, that is 81 times 10 to the power negative of y, we moved rightward, times 10 to the power negative 2, all over 2, 2, 5, times 10 to the power negative 2, y, we move 1, 2, twice. And then we have this times 10 to the power 5. Now, let's say this. 9 will go into 81 9 times. 9 will go into 225. That is 25 times. So we have root of 9 times 10, negative 1 minus 2 all over 25 times 10. We have negative 2 plus 5. Now, when you are multiplying base are the same, what did we add the exponent? So this one is giving us that is root 9 times 10, this will give us negative 3, all over 25 times 10, and this is giving us, that is positive 3. We are dividing base at the same, we subtract the exponent. So we have square root of 9 over 25 times 10, which is negative 3 minus 6. And this we have square root of 9 over 25 times 10, 
we have negative negative nine. Now we should note that if we have that is a b square root of a b this is equal to square root of a times square root of b and also if you have a over b square root this is the same as square root of a all over square root of b so applying this this one will just be equal to that is square root of 9 over 25 times square root of 10 to the power negative 6. Now let's see, let's see. Um, this is 3, this is 3. And because it's 3, it goes here to be negative 3. So that will be minus 3, minus 3. And this one will give us negative 6. This will give us negative 6. So here, that's what we have over here. Now, this one is the same as square root of 9 all over square root of 25 times this is the same as 10 negative 6 times 1 over 2. Now, this would be 3 over 5 times 10 negative 3. Root of 9 is 3 root of 25 is this. And this one is 0 0.6 times 10 negative 3. Now, you move, how many times you move? You're moving once. So you have 6 times 10 to the power 1 times 10 to the power negative 3. Now, this we are moving rightward, so this is negative. So we have 6 times 10 negative 4. We got this minus that, that is negative 4. Okay, so first we have to change all decimal numbers to whole numbers. So here, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 48 times 10 to the power negative 4. 81 times 10 to the power negative 2. Move 1, 2 twice. Times 10 to the power negative 7. All over 27 times 10 to the power negative 3. Let's see. 1, 2, 3. Now, this one, that is 4 times 10 to the power negative 2. 1, 2. Times 10 to the power 6. We have square root. Don't forget the square root. Now, after that, we have to cancel. 4 will go here 1, 4 will go into 48. That is 12 times. 27 will go into 1, 27 will go into 81. That is 3 times. Now, 10 to the power negative 2, 10 to the power negative 2 will cancel. So, what do you have? Square root, we have 12 times 3 times 10, negative 4 times 10, negative 7, all over 10, negative 3 times 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6. Now 12 times 3, this is 36 times 10. This is we have negative 4 minus 7 all over 10, negative 3 plus 6. We have square root 36 times 10. This will give us negative 11 all over 10 to the power 3. Now we are dividing. Base are the same, so we subtract. So we have, that is, square root of 36 times 10, that is negative 11 minus 3. Square root of 36 times 10, negative 14, negative 14. But what do you know, if you have root A, B, it's the same as root A times root B. You know about this. So this is just equal to root of 36 times root of 10, negative 1 over 4. That's negative 14. Now root of 36 is 6 times 10, negative 14 times 1 over 2. So this will be 6 times 10 to the power negative 7. That's very trivial. We are being given a to be 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 3. This 4.0 is the same as 4. b is 3.0 times 10 to the power negative 2. And then c is 100. We are being told to find root of a squared plus b squared all over c. Now we have a squared. What is the a? Our a is 4.0. So it's the same as 4 times 10 to the power negative 2. All square. We shouldn't forget the square root. b is 3 times 10 to the power negative 2. All square all over 100. 
Now this is same as square root of. Now this is multiplying this all square. So it is just telling us 4 square times 10 negative 2, 2 plus 3 square times 10 negative 2, 2, all over 100. We can change 100 to 10 to the power 2. Now this is the same as 16 times 10 negative 4. Why negative? We know if you have a to the power m, and this is a m n. We know about this rule. So that's the rule we applied here. Plus 9 times 10 negative 4 all over 10 to the power 2. Well, this will multiply this. That's that. And from here, 10 to the power negative 4 is common. So you can factor 10 to the power negative 4 out. We have 10 to the power 2. Now what do you have? We have what do you have? 16 plus 9. And this is the same as square root, this can be written as 16 plus 9, that's 25, times 10, negative 4, minus 2. Why minus 2? We are dividing, and because we are dividing, what do you do? You subtract, so that's negative 4 minus 2. That's what we have here. So we have root of 25 times 10 to the power negative 6. Now, we know that root a, B is equal to root A times root B. So this is the same as root 25 times root 10 to the power negative 6. And this is 5 times 10 negative 6 times 1 over 2. This will be a 1. This will be a 3. So you have 5 times 10 to the power negative 3. This is what I see 20, 2006.